Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of the more common basic geometric terms. Uh, we, in the previous video we looked at um, lines, line segments, and rays, and line segments do come up again, um, but we're going to look at them in a slightly different definition. So it's the same shape, um, but that's why they're they're on the, this uh, this set of set of terms again. So uh, just make sure you are writing these down. These are going to come up a lot, uh, and you want to make sure you know it's specifically what it is you're talking about, so you don't mix up, say, an angle with the vertex of that angle or something like that. So uh, jumping right in, the angle is a figure formed by two rays that have the same endpoint. Okay, so a figure. formed by two rays. So that's why we're, um, we're going to be talking about how those sides are rays uh, a little bit in one of the next lessons that have the same end point. So what that means is you're going to have a ray like this and the end point is this one. So if I have another ray that starts there, this entire shape is the angle, okay? Not just that point, which is often confused. Circle, I'm sure you're more familiar with this one. So a circle is um, a set of points that are known as equidistant or the same distance, so that are all the same distance from a point, okay? And we're gonna explore circles quite a bit, but so you get that that round shape from circles by the fact that they're all the same distance away from a single point, which is uh, called the center, okay? Um, the perpendicular lines, the official definition here is we have intersecting lines that, and this is the key here, that form right angles, okay? So that means you're gonna have 90 degree angles right here. So these two lines would be perpendicular because they meet at right angles at 90 degrees there, all right? Parallel lines are lines that, and this first part seems a little weird, but lines that belong to the same plane. So that just means they're two-dimensional and imagine them on the same sheet of paper, okay? You don't have one that's going like this and the other one that's kind of tilted like that. So they're both gonna be on the same, um, same plane, the same flat surface, okay? And never intersect. Okay. So you'll get lines that look like this, and they're both traveling the same distance, and they're going to never actually run into each other. A line segment we did talk about. So remember the key here is it's part of a line consisting of two endpoints. Okay, so we talked about that. You have two points right there. And all the points between them. Okay. All right, so those are our long ones. These last three are a little bit shorter. So congruent means you have the same shape and size, okay? So if you have two circles that are the same size, they're the same shape because they're both circles, then you could say those two circles are congruent or maybe you have two line segments that are congruent. So it's a way to compare two shapes. All right? And collinear and coplanar go together. So co in both of these mean same. So collinear is same line. Okay? So belonging or on 
belonging to the same line. Okay. And then coplanar, likewise, is belonging or on. So belonging to the same plane. Okay. So collinear, same line, coplanar, same plane. So what that means um, is, once again, planes like a sheet of paper. If you have a sheet of paper, you can have, say, a line that's on that sheet of paper and a point. So those would be coplanar because they're on the same sheet or being on the same line, um, it has to be smaller. So if I have a line here, I could say these four points are collinear because they're all on the same line. Okay, uh, so that's what those all mean.